Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So we have it. I've been waiting absolutely all day for this. We have the first looks at the primary side. Well, some of the new stuff from the primary side. We've already seen like uh, the librarian and some of that kind of stuff. But we have the, the one of the first looks at one of the other HQs in here. And this is Captain Akir Akiran? Am I pronounced that? Akir? I'm, 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 I'm just going to call him Captain A because he's just simpler, gorgeous, and amazing. Can we just take a minute just to breathe in, have a nice deep breath, and just look how incredible this model is? There's just so much to look at. First thing, his face is absolutely gorgeous. I love his, his big, thick man beard. Um, I love like his little all specs on his eye. He's pointing forward. I, I, I'm always a massive fan of that pose of pointing forward. Go over there, purge in that direction, follow my orders, get it done right now. There's a servo skull coming at the back of him. It's got a nice little screen on, and his bolter, uh, it's, well, what they call bolt carbines these, but I think this one's got like a little silencer on it. A bolter with a silencer on it. My, how terrifying is this going to be and if we move and we start spinning the model around and oh, the back is just the back is just as good as the front so we have like this kind of half cape on him which is amazing it's like a little leather strap over him his backpack's cool it's got like some a nice little rope on it with some uh, little icon of it, uh, icons of the imperial um, eagle on it and the camo cape which everyone's going on about space marines camo cape space marine camo capes i like it i think it looks great if i'm actually going to paint a camo cape i think i'm actually going to do it in those colors that they've actually done on here because i think it just looks absolutely gorgeous and it actually goes with the model and um, if we go from the side view now this is pretty interesting of course this is like um the vanguard are kind of like reavers and um, so they have the little reaver legs which i've never really been a fan of but again this model has got so much awesome on it i'm, I'm all right to let that go the helmet is the new reaver helmet. well it's basically the new vanguard helmet and i actually prefer these helmets over the reaver and the primaris helmets from what i've seen of the artwork these these ones look really really cool he's got like a big blade strapped to um his waist as well which is gorgeous you can see more of the servo skull there sticking off his knee scanning doing whatever it does hopefully it gives him like bonus rules and all that kind of stuff and the really interesting thing is the yellow stripe down the pauldron now i'm sh i'm sure that this is going to be like the kind of new marking maybe or is that like a sergeant kind of mark i'm not too sure when it comes to these new guys this is this is the really interesting thing now is to read all the lore about these guys what they have what they don't have and what all the new things they bring to the battlefield uh, themselves right just to go over it real quickly from the article just to explain what a vanguard force is because a lot of people are getting confused what reavers and vanguards are it basically states here vanguard space marines are elite reconnaissance troops trained to operate without support uh, uh well, sorry without support across the deadliest frontiers of the galaxy they're clad in lightweight power armor and equipped with weapons perfectly optimized for covert warfare vanguard warriors fight at the tip of the adeptus starters spear the base basically i think they're like a modern day pathfinder unit uh, for pathfinders if you don't know what they are they're basically the troops that are, are, are dropped in before like the airborne troops to path find the way to to help find the way so i think that's what basically vanguard forces are they're, they're just a basically um a 40k version of the uh, modern day now pathfinder unit in the uh, well the british army at least i know we have them in the british army I'm not too sure about the american army but the british army they're called pathfinders this box is just going from height meter to height meter to height meter i'm at the moment where i just i just want to shake something i want to shake it and hopefully it will drop like a dozen boxes of this bloody shadow spear because it looks like it's filled with so much goodness fingers are still crossed fingers are massively crossed for some kind of transport land speeder s primaris type of fast vehicle maybe is in this box set or maybe it's coming like in a you know phase two part of the new primaris range and stuff like that hopefully 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 we'll get something like that but i can't really complain at the moment because everything i'm seeing so far is just it's just amazing the design and the look of it everything about it me as a primaris fanboy i'm completely losing my mind at the moment so congratulations gw you've definitely got me hyped thank you for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it make sure to go and check out the article for yourself there's a ton of stuff to read on there i'm not gonna ruin it all in this video go and check it read it and um give these guys a thumbs up and stuff wherever you um see the article posted so thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you all very very soon see you now and bye bye glorious primaris yes brother yes